People use Twitter to share information, the latest news, current events, what people are talking about, even what's for dinner. Now people are using it to get access to health care. Last year, Mayo Clinic teamed up with USA Today and scheduled a Twitter chat about a painful wrist injury. Today, a woman who joined that chat is pain-free. After six weeks of being in a cast, it's Liberation Day for Aaron Turner. Very anxious for this cast to come off. Aaron had surgery to repair a painful split tear of the UT ligament in her wrist, an injury that's often misdiagnosed and improperly treated. Ah, look at this. <laughs> but how she got from her home in Washington, D.C. into Dr. Richard Berger's operating room at Mayo Clinic is a story of Twitter triumph. And this is a means of being able to, to directly communicate potentially with, uh, with, with health care providers. You see, last year, Dr. Berger and Mayo Clinic teamed up with USA Today on a story about the UT split tear. It featured Philadelphia Phillies pitcher Jason Wirth, who had the injury. And for one hour, Dr. Berger, who figured out how to diagnose and treat it correctly, hosted a Twitter chat. Uh, I tell you, that was one of the most intense hours that I've ever had. Erin joined in the virtual conversation and tweeted about her painful wrist. It seemed like, well, maybe I could get an answer to here if, if nothing else, and it, it wound up that I, I got more than that. A UT split tear runs the entire length of the ligament. The exposed surface gets irritated and causes pain. Using small arthroscopic tools, Dr. Berger shaves away the damaged tissue and sutures the ligament back together. A high-tech operation that for Erin happened thanks to Twitter. I can use it to to not only you know continue to, to interact with Dr. Berger if I have any issues or, or with the you know the rest of the Mayo Clinic staff that I've been talking to, um, but also to help others. Dr. Berger says he sees Twitter benefiting medicine in these ways as a means to help doctors communicate with each other, a way for doctors and patients to chat, and as a way for patients to talk to others going through the same thing, a Twitter support group. But he also says in no way should Twitter replace face-to-face -face interaction between doctor and patient. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.